Wait, listen. what happened? Uh, I was on Keith Overman, and Keith told me this before he left. I don't know if the band still holds, but... Um, Usually there's sort of an expiration date on those. Yeah. Um, I don't it's know like what milk. the statute of limitations yeah. is, but I was discussing the Tea Party. This was early on in the Tea Party's formation, and he, Keith Overman had said to me, what do you think it is that, that motivates them? And I said, racism. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You would... You would yeah. It was as if... I had, first of all, it, apparently it's very distasteful to discuss racism. Right. The racism itself, that's fine. But uh, you can't discuss it. And then also, uh, it's called racially sensitive, which makes it sound nice, uh, which it isn't. But we treat war criminals, corporate criminals, racists, and hoarders with kid gloves in this country. We, they get such a free ride, hoarders get such a free ride. Have you ever seen, you ever you seen, seen that the intervention? Show? Yes, yeah. that's what I'm saying. They get their own show. Uh, not only that, I, I, as, as a drinker, I was intervened upon twice. I'm going to tell you something. It's nothing like with the hoarders. They have it so easy. They get to go through the boxes. They get to decide what stays and what goes. Which they get to have a meltdown. When you are intervened upon for your alcohol and your drugs, you, you don't get you, to. You watch them dump. <laughs> Vodka, and I'm talking about. You don't get to choose. No, no, no. Uh, you, and that's is after a circle of letters. When you did this, it wasn't fair to me. Uh, in your own home, unannounced, early in the morning, you'll know it's them because uh, they want to catch you out early. Because uh, you'll recognize most of them. There'll be a few wild cards in there, and then there'll be somebody who's like, "I got a pumpkin chai." Uh, and uh, you, you have to help them set up the goddamn chairs if they're going to read about how awful you are. Then you're going to watch them dump Belvedere, Grey Goose. It's like watching books being burned. Honestly, it's, like, it's the same level of injustice. Whereas the hoarders, I need that spoon. And then, and then they're like, okay, okay, let's take a time out. And they have people in hazmat suits volunteering, 1-800-GOT-JUNK, idling on a Saturday. Uh, and they get to just have their way with these people. That is, n that's not, that, you never give a, a person who defecates in a plastic bag and drops it next to the one chair they can still sit in, hoarder, um, the opportunity to go through the boxes. Never yeah. give that person. That's a, that's a good life rule. That's a good, yeah. Uh, honestly. Generally applicable. Give them an inch, they'll take 17 miles. Yeah.